whatever happens is whatever happens. We, we did very well to get to the cup final last season. <laughs> They've scored within two minutes. It's Jude Bellingham. How's it going, everyone? My name is Stu. Welcome to my Deportivo La Coruña save here on FM24. Thank you for joining me in today's video, which is part number 21. If you haven't watched any of the save before, go back and watch it. It's a lot of fun. But today's is a little bit more special because today... <laughs> We've got a Copa del Rey final. Because of course we do. It's the third season. We're in our first season in La Liga. Why wouldn't we in, be in the Copa del Rey final? It's utter, utter nonsense. But if you're excited to see how we do in today's video, don't forget to leave a big like on the video for me. And don't forget to subscribe. It is completely free to do so. You'll make me a happy chap. And I'm sure lovely things will happen in your life if you do the like or whatever. Anyway, since you were last with us, first of all, yes, I'm wearing glasses. Now, I have intermittently wore glasses when I've been making videos. I kind of don't do it because of the glare of the light. I don't need to wear them all the time. I am quite lucky in that regard. However, I've got a hideous sty on my eye just, just about there. And I feel like now I've mentioned it, you will be able to probably see A, the redness around the eye, and B, the actual thing itself but i thought i'm gonna wear glasses to try and deflect from it and then i'm gonna tell you about it to ruin that entire point so that's why i'm wearing glasses but more importantly since you were last with us well it <laughs> hasn't got much better if i'm being honest with you um so that's the they're the four games we've had now obviously they espanol game was fantastic we then lost against Real between two one that one hurt a little bit Real Madrid as well was a bit of a struggle. We then shook things up at that point and we changed to the 4-3-3 that I mentioned I might go to at some point. And he did get us a win, but my word, our defence wasn't good. Danny Martin. Pff, needs a better goalkeeper next. I think our budget's going on a goalkeeper next year because my word, he's not been good. Um, and then again in the last game, another bad rating for him. Unlucky in this one. We scored an own goal early doors. We did end up getting a point. But those results mean... We're now in sixth. So the great season we were having is started to fall apart a little bit. To be fair, we were having far too good of a season. So it's now balancing out. We're now in sixth. We were as high as third at one point. God. Um, it's hard to be disappointed with that. Because if you'd given me sixth at the start of the season, I'd have been like, that's a great result. But we are starting to splutter a little bit. Now, we are only one point off the Champions League spot. I'm content with the Europa League spot. But... It is slightly annoying that it has collapsed that quite as it has. Now, we do now know who we're playing in the Copa del Rey final. It is Real Madrid, who recently did beat us 2-0. However, remember, earlier in the season, we beat them 2-1. So it's not necessarily that clear-cut, especially in a final kind of scenario. But we're probably going to get battered. Um, other exciting news, we signed a wonder kid. Now... It doesn't say Wonder Kid, but this guy was on the Next Gen list. I don't know whether... Aha, I found the email. I spelt Next Gen wrong. That's what the problem was. But the guy that we've just signed, I need to remember where exactly he is. But he is on this list. There he is. He's the 44th best Wonder Kid in world football, apparently. Now, granted, he's not obviously a very good player at the moment. Granted, he's not consistent. Granted, he's injury prone. But... He's still down as a wonder kid. The thing that fascinated me is he was unattached. He wasn't at any club whatsoever. So we've now signed him. 17-year-old. He's going to be coming to us. It's not until September, which is a bit frustrating. But we'll have him then. He'll be in the youth team. He'll be getting experience. He might even go straight to the B team. And he'll be getting some experience with us. And then we'll see what happens if he keeps developing and becomes a great player. And the consistency gets a bit better. Great. We've got a wonder kid for the next couple of years. If not, we'll see what his value is, and then we'll sell him on. I'm quite content with that. I've also been messing about in the background to try and get some more um, Wonder Kiddy kind of things through. I don't know whether it will work, but we are trying it. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. It is time for, before we get to the cup final, a game against Almera in the league. And this is the 11 we're going to be going with. No surprises, Stankovic is in goal. Martin is now RB goalkeeper. He just is. I'm giving Stankovic the run for the rest of the season. He can't be any worse. So it's Stankovic in goal. Trilli, Akoli, Longley and Vasquez in defence. Alexander, Navarro and Orellana in the midfield with that three-man midfield. I'm going to try and persist with it just to try and get it in for next season. Then we've got Jota and Fulrich. Uh, Furic, rather, supporting Gaspolito. I keep calling him Fulrich, but it's Furic. I've also got these guys the, one, the wrong way round, I'm pretty sure. Because I think Furic is the guy we want to be playing on the right-hand side. It is indeed. And he has played quite well out there. So... That's the 11. That's what we're going with. Wish me luck. 
We should be good enough to beat Almera, but we should have been good enough in the last game to win, uh, and we didn't. So it doesn't really matter. We're currently 15th in form. That says a lot about how we've been playing recently. Now, I did do a team talk before this game just to can't try and turn things around. That form doesn't look too bad for a promoted team, but with the form we started the season with, I mentioned in the last video, the way that form was, we have dropped off a cliff. Now, they are near the bottom. Cadiz, to be fair, uh, were mid-table, so they probably were worth giving us a little bit of trouble, but we really need to step up and start playing a bit better. The way we're playing isn't drastically different in terms of our tactics. It's just the shape of the team we've changed. We have, we did have an international break where I just pumped loads of match tactics. I did a couple of friendlies as well, just to try and get the team a bit more used to it after the Levante game. It feels like it's done the opposite at the moment, but it is risky business changing the shape of the team this far into a season, but I just felt that we needed to do something. Esposito is in here, and Esposito scores early doors, but it might be offside. Let's not get too excited. It might be offside. I say excited. I can't get that excited about a league game when we've had such a drop-off recently. It has been disallowed. Esposito really does need to start stepping up. Ferry was going to start today, but he picked up a knock. Ferry's been on a good run of form recently um, and played really well in the friendlies we had while Esposito was on international duty. Esposito hasn't really been doing it for me, so he does kind of need a bit of a big boy performance today. It would be nice to see. Aralana is playing as the advanced playmaker. Yeah, advanced playmaker. We're not playing with a deep line playmaker. And Navarro is a centre mid on attack or a Mazala. I can't remember. He's a Mazala. Torre plays as the attacking mid, the central mid on attack. Um, I did have a crazy idea, and I did it for the two friendlies I mentioned, where I had Navarro as the playmaker, advanced playmaker, and Torre as the um, the attacking-minded midfielder. Navarro is through here, by the way. And Navarro, I tell you what, we've got a clause to, to have the option to buy him at the end of the season. The way he's kind of kicked on the rest of this season, I think we're signing him, because he really has picked up. As an advanced playmaker, he's done a great job of working with Esposito here. Lovely stuff. Bear in mind, he's not meant to be our main goal threat. Oh, he is? No. He's the attacking midfielder. He's the attacking-minded uh, Mazala. I've, I've got myself mixed up there because Olalana's playing as the playmaker. Either way, I'd like to keep him because he has started to really kick on. And he's doing quite well in that attack-minded position, to be fair. But yeah, I did have the crazy idea of Torre and Navarro as the midfield too. Torre is now signing for another club, though. His contract runs out at the end of the season. Wanted nothing to do with us. He's signing for somewhere in Saudi Arabia, I think. So we aren't going to have that as an option next season. But we will still have Aralana. And if we can develop that as a partnership and Aralana ends up being good enough to stay at this level, fine. I'm okay with it. I'm absolutely fine with it. Um, but obviously it depends on whether we can get Navarro. I think we'll be able to. I'd like to think we'll have a transfer budget that's going to be hefty enough if we get into Europe to be able to justify spending like £8 million on him. That's how much it would cost on that clause. And I'd be very happy with it. Right, Esposito now. Looking to be provider more than anything here. Aralana goes out wide to Vasquez. Vasquez lofting it in. Looking for the head of Navarro here. And Navarro has gone and scored again. It's very, very similar to what happens in the... Oh, what game was it? It was the it was the Espanyol game. The, the game in the semi-final of the Copa del Rey. Um, Navarro just running the show here. 2-0 up. This is the best and most composed we've looked in a while. Granted... This is a team near the bottom of the table. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. More of the same would be lovely. Furyk and Jot are not really getting into the game, but they're not playing badly. Aralana as well not doing a lot. But I'm really happy with the contributions of Navarro so far. And it's good to see Vasquez getting an assist as well. Trilli is a bit anonymous. But Trilli hasn't been playing. Carrillo has been. So he's probably needing a bit to get back into it. Um, Carrillo, I'm, I'm still thinking next season he might end up being one of our fullbacks. What a free kick. That I can't even be mad at that. That's a stunning free kick. That is a stunning free kick. His name's okay. That was more than okay. Goodness me. Yokoslu. Or Yokoslu. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm going to call him okay. What a free kick that was. I'm fine with it. Honestly, I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad. I ain't going to tell these boys to calm down, though, because, you know... We don't want any red cards. Right, Aralana goes back to Alexander, who now Danilovic, Danilovic got fit and then got an injury again, but he's fit again now. So hopefully we can start to see Danilovic come back in. But he is now a two and a half star player. So I think we will be bringing someone in over the top of Danilovic in the summer. 
assuming we've got the money to. This is the one worry I've got next season is how much money we're going to have in the transfer kitty because I just don't know. Navarro, I tell you what, he's on it today. If he gets a hat-trick, I'll be delighted. Yet another hat-trick playing in that Mazzala role. He's been sensational. He's the one shining light out of this system change so far. Other than the fact that we've actually done really well in that game. We've not made a lot of chances, but we've made them count. And the only goal they scored was a world of a free kick. I'm surprised we've not had a bit more reaction from the players there. Because we said, you're doing well, but you can do a bit better. But hey-ho. Right, let's say that to them. Um, let's tell these two they need to calm themselves down. Um, Akali and Trilli not really having the best of games. I am actually going to take Trilli off for Carrillo. Bring the captain on. Let's give him a game out wide as the fullback. We know we can do it. Um, Longley's really starting to come into his own as well. We're trying to play Kumbula as much as possible. Longley is just playing better than him at the moment. So it's difficult to justify it, if I'm honest. It is really difficult. Right. I'm going to demand more. I'd like more goals. I really would. But the main thing, I think, today is a result. We need to go into that cup final against Real Madrid with a positive attitude. We're probably going to get battered. With how this half of the season has gone, we're probably going to get battered. But we've had a kind of a romantic kind of history in the last few years with the Copa del Rey. It'd be nice to keep that. Well, we've already kept it up by getting to the final. It would be nice to keep it up even more. And Navarro has his hat trick. It's another assist for Esposito. But the main story is Robert Navarro, who could be our permanent player next season if we have the money. The main story is he's gone and scored himself a hat trick. Lovely stuff. But the corner doesn't lead so much. But Esposito gets to the edge of the area. I think there's a couple of deflections in there. But I don't care because Navarro, Navarro, Navarro. With Esposito getting a couple of assists in there as well. That makes me really happy. Right, we're going to pause and we're going to make another couple of changes. Orellana hasn't done that well as the advanced playmaker. I'm going to bring on Enrique, who's fit again. And I'm also going to bring Danilovic on as well for Alexander. As you can see, now dropped down to a two and a half star player. That's obviously not ideal. Um, and then we've got two changes left. Navarro will be one of the players we'll sub off. But I'm going to let him have a little bit more game time. I'm really glad I came back when I did because Esposito's just made it four. And we don't have the dreaded two goal lead. We've got a three goal lead. Let's have a look at the replay together for that, shall we? Because I am happy that we've just gone and done that. Right. It's defending from them that goes wrong. So their striker makes an absolutely awful mistake. Alexander is the one with the interception who will get the assist. Who's just coming off the pitch now. But he's the one who ended up making the goal through Almira's poor defending. And that is lovely. As it stands, that's enough to put us back up to third. I don't think we'll stay there. But it puts us back into the Champions League spots. I don't know why I'm stood sitting like this. As if I'm about to pounce at the screen. But I am very happy with what's happened there. Right. Got a little bit of time left. And we are, we're still very, very viable to concede a goal or two. So this doesn't solve everything. But I am starting to feel a bit happier about a few things. And I do think the goalkeeping situation for this season might be resolved. I.e. I don't think Danny's going to be playing again unless there's an injury. Right. Jota now. Cutting inside. He's doing beautifully there. And I thought he was about to bury that top bins. That would have been sensational. The wingers haven't had a great game today. But they've certainly not covered themselves in any kind of misery. Uh, but Carrillo also not really playing that well today either. Looping header. Not going to go over Stankovic. Stankovic does well to hold on to it. Touch wood. And Modeski's made a word. He's had a good game today. Really impressed with him. Couldn't have stopped that free kick. But other than that, he's been really good. Right. Navarro to Esposito. Furyk gets, gets tackled off the ball there. A little bit lazy from Furyk. But Enrique mops things up. Lovely stuff. Playing like an advanced, as a deep line playmaker, but he's an advanced playmaker. Love it. Right, Navarro through to Esposito. Navarro might be my new Yanis Hadji because he's playing a bit like a playmaker, even though he's playing as a Mazala. And that is the definition of it of, of my Yanis Hadji love from uh, previous FMs. Right, final substitute o'clock. Let's see what we can do. Navarro is going to come off, but... He's going to get an absolute rousing reception. And we'll bring Pablo Torre on for the last few minutes. And then I'm going to take Fury off. He's not had a bad game, but he hasn't been sensational either. I'm going to bring Luis Micruz on, who, to be fair, has really dropped off in the second half of the season. Started the season quite well. Had a couple of good moments here or there in the second half, but mostly he's been quite poor. Let's give him a few more minutes on the pitch just to try and recover a little bit of form. We're on his side of the pitch now, so it'll be interesting to see if he gets a touch on the ball. Carrillo actually loses the ball from the throw in there. 
Oh, but I tell you what, long leg does well. Danilovic can't quite keep a hold of the ball there. And we do give possession back to Almeria. Um, I'm pronouncing their name completely wrong because there's an I in there. So it should be Almeria, I'm going to assume. Alma Almeria? Almeria. I'm going to go with Almeria and I could be completely wrong. Right, Torre does a great job there. Pablo Torre. Lovely work, but the shot is lacking. He probably should have looked for the pass there. But lovely work for him just to get into that position to have the shot anyway. I'm feeling a lot better about this team. We've had a good number of chances. We've dominated the game. Yes, we conceded a wonder goal of a free kick. But I'm really happy with what we've done today. Even though a colleague's had a bad rating. Carrillo obviously didn't have a great rating. He's now on a 6.7. We're getting some good stuff done. I mean, Danilovic has come on for some minutes. As has Cruz. As has Enrique. Enrique's looked sharp, even though he's not got a good rating. He's just to lose the ball there. But Enrique, speaking of, now with the ball running out wide here. They'll try and get the ball into the box. Get it back to Jota. Jota. It's deflected through. Enrique has an assist. Jota has a goal. 5-1. That is what I'm talking about. That is more like it. That is more like it. Oh, I feel so much happier. The last couple of... I'll tell you what. The last couple of games. To be, the last couple of episodes, they've just really... I've been a little bit shook at how... I don't know how badly it's gone because it's not been going badly, but we've been quite fortunate in this save. And quite a few of the saves that we've had, we've been quite fortunate that we've made the right decisions. Things have gone well. This has been a challenge, though. This has been a real challenge. And, well, I mean, again, as it stands, puts us third. But you can see, Atleti have got two games in hand on us. Salta Vigo have got a game in hand. Sociedad have got a game in hand. We could go down as low as sixth again when they all play. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But... We're going to switch focuses now because we're not going to be looking at the league. We're looking at the Copa del Rey final. We are looking at that. Hat-trick from Navarro. I mean, he will be starting against Real Madrid. The problem, of course, is will we get the space we were just afforded? Probably not. Probably not. Good performance for Stankovic. May not have got a clean sheet, but I tell you what, he covered himself in glory other than that. I'm just debating now. In terms of personnel, I mean, Danilovic had a good game, but I can't start him when he's only had one appearance in however long. I mean, if we look at his his form, one game, one game, out for such a long time. We cannot start him. It's going to have to be Alexander, who, to his credit, also had a good game there. So I'm not too worried about that. But I think, other than maybe Orellana for... Matthias Enrique, and even then, that might be a risk. I'm, do you know what? I might not even do that. I might leave Arellana. We might just start with the same 11. I'm actually thinking we might start with the same 11. The only thing I might do is take Trilli out, and we might put Carrillo on there, because Carrillo ended up having a good game. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Right. Give me a minute. We'll come back for the game. I'll we'll probably get a horrific injury, which means I have to change the entire plan. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but... Get to the cup final okay this is something i haven't done for a little while but you know what it's a cup final we should look at least a little bit smart for it so i'm not going to go the full hog and put a suit on <sighs> but we are wearing a tie because it is cup final o'clock and it is time for the cup without rate final and this is the 11 we're going with it is almost completely the same 11 as we used before the only difference is of course because I was banking on using him, Stankovic, who is injury prone, by the way, has had a little knock. Now, I probably could play him, but I, d I don't want him in a situation where he gets injured and I have to take him off. So we're going to go Martin. I've changed Martin to a goalkeeper rather than a sweeper keeper because I think the sweeping keeping is what's doing him in. So he's just going to be a goalkeeper for us. But other than that, the 11 is the same. The one thing we've changed is how we're going to attack them. When we're in possession, we're going to go down the wings and we're going to distribute out to the fullbacks. We were doing that. No, we changed from doing that, actually. But the reason we're doing all of that is because we look at the opposition. They're playing a 4-4-2 diamond. So we want to be trying to come down these wings here to give them a bit of a problem. That's at least how I'm looking at it anyway. Whether that works or not, I don't know. But you're 11-4, the Copa del Rey final in Season 3 of this save with us being a newly promoted team. And this being our back-to-back Copa del Rey final, which is even more nuts, is as follows. It's Martin in goal. Carrillo, Acoli, Longley and Vasquez in defence. Alexander Navarro and Orellana in the midfield with Furyk and Jota supporting Esposito up front. One correction, Carrillo is starting. He obviously came on for Trilli, who is on the bench, but we've just done a bit of a swapsies there. 
May the football manager gods be with us. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. I am not hopeful. Remember, they did batter us. A little, well, I say batter us. They beat us 2-0 uh, in the last game. We did beat them 2-1 earlier in the season, though. So, who knows? I mean, the last result was a good result to have just before this one. They have lost a game recently, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That is a scary, strong Real Madrid side as well. Scary, strong indeed. Whereas we just have a team. But hopefully it's a team of bloody heroes and we can go and win us a trophy. Here we go. We're in. I mean, whatever happens is whatever happens. We did very well to get to the cup final last season. <laughs> They've scored within two minutes. It's Jude Bellingham. It's game over. Um, I think it's safe to say it's probably game over at this point. I got the time and everything for no reason. But Jude Bellingham from a corner makes it 1-0 very early on. I mean, it's early days. There's time. It's not cleared out that well, but Bellingham is there, and well, well, that's an early, that's an early goal to concede. But you know what? Kind of expected. That's probably what's going to happen. It's fine. I'm not going into this with any expectations. We've got a bit of an affinity with this trophy without actually having won it yet. This is our, as I said, second final in three seasons of this save, um, and we got to the quarter final in the first as well. So. It's one of those, but I would like to see us actually maybe win this before the end of the save. They are dominating us at the moment. I am just going to demand more from the boys. Let's just see if we can get something going. We need to get the ball to Navarro, and we need to get into positions where we can start getting the ball rolling. But it doesn't look like us going down the sides has worked that much. Although we are getting a bit more momentum behind us now. Not by much, but it looks like we're getting a few chances. We're just not seeing them. Right, Rodrigo to Bellingham. Not really... I mean, they're, they're, they're working something here. Rudiger's normally one to go for a bit of a pile driver. Navarro has gone and stole the ball here. And little hero as he is, I mean, I'll take that as a victory. Just right there, the fact that he did that. Got us the possession, got us the ball, and we're now in, well, with the opportunity of trying to do something. Right, balls out wide to Vasquez. We're spraying the ball around quite nicely here at the moment, actually, in this. Right, Jota, back to Vasquez. Vasquez, what a ball that is through to the man himself. And Navarro's gone and equalised. Navarro has gone and equalised. Their man of the moment has just gone and put us 1-1 against Real Madrid. Well then. Vasquez with a beautiful pass. What an absolutely wonderful ball that is. And out of absolutely nowhere, we go and equalise. And all of a sudden, Real Madrid are going to be looking thinking, what is going on? Get in there, boys. Game on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to say that one. We haven't G'd the team up as much as I was hoping we would. I'm going to have a word with these two and tell them they need to kind of get things going. Aurelano as well. I'm not that happy with him so far. Alexander's not done the best job in the world. Akali hasn't done that well either. But I'll leave everyone else. Martin Touchwood. He's not done too badly. Right. Do we make any changes? Alexander is struggling a little bit. I'm thinking, do we bring on Danilovic? Yes, he's not got much match sharpness, but he was starting to look okay in the last game. He got a decent rating. I think we bring him on for the experience. I think we do that. And I'm actually going to do a double change in midfield. Enrique is going to come on as well, because he looked really sharp in the last game. I'm going to leave Furyk out there. I have faith that he can just deliver a little bit of magic. Right. Second half. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I was resigned when they scored so early. But my goodness me. Right, it is a throw-in. It is a throw-in to Real Madrid. Jota's down with an injury off the pitch. Just seen at the side over here. Off the pitch at the moment. Which means this side, we don't have the extra body. So I'm assuming that is Esposito. It is, yeah, who's gone in to fill that space. Got a ball looking for Fury there. That would have been sensational if we'd have found him. But left ourselves in a bit of a tricky situation here. Rodrigo is in. That's got to be two. It is. He nearly stuffs it up, Rodrigo. He very, very nearly stuffs it up. He doesn't know. I'm just going to try and fire the boys up because I think we're a bit unlucky there because if Jota was here, the pass might have been better. But because Esposito is filling in there, he ended up with us losing possession here. I'm putting it down as that. Now, disappointment there that Long Lake doesn't have the pace to keep up with, uh, with the man himself, Rodrigo, who's just put that in the back of the net. It's such a shame because we were doing so well. That might just be the thing that takes us out of it. Jota has come back on the pitch. He is injured, though. I mean, this is going to be three. No, it's not. Right. Before we do anything else, we need to sort out Jota. I'm actually going to move Furyk out to the left-hand side. Now, do we bring on Torre, 
Cruz or Zardas? Because part of me is thinking Zardas for set pieces. If we can start getting some set pieces, we are uh, playing for set pieces. If we can try and get them to give us a set piece or two with these free kicks of 15, I just wonder whether we can get something going. Maybe not. Maybe it's not going to be the case. But we know Zardas can play well out there when needed. I think we're going to do it. We'll give it a go. And let's just see whether we can get anything going. Let's see whether we can do it. I don't know whether we can, but we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. I am actually going to change a little bit here as well. We're going down both sides at the moment. We're going to focus on the left for a bit. And we're going to try and get in behind and hit some early crosses. Let's just try it and let's see what happens. Fire the boys up. If we can just steal the ball off of them. There we go. That's perfect. Right, long lay now. Danilovic. Danilovic trying to get to Navarro. It's a poor pass though. Because again, he hasn't played a lot of football recently. That's got to be offside. It's over anyway. It was offside in the end. We're still in this. We're not playing particularly well. But we are still in this. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Let's do this. Fire the boys up again. We've got one or two subs left. I think it's about time we make them. Right. Furyk hasn't had a good game. Esposito actually hasn't a good game either. But we don't have many other striking options. So Pablo Torre is going to come on. I'm going to leave Navarro on, obviously. And then defensively, I think we need to make a change. I just don't know which one to make. I'm thinking maybe we take off Carrillo. And we leave a Coley on. Or maybe we take a Coley off for Kumbula. Then we take him off for Kumbula. We're not left with quite a quick option there, to be fair. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Carrillo has got to be the pace, though. So do we then maybe move Carrillo and do Trilli instead and put Carrillo into the middle because he's got a bit more pace about him? I can maybe help out. I've talked myself into that there. Right, let's try that. And I might even go... I'm going to go attacking. We need a goal, so... We'll demand more when we can. Trilly with a poor pass there. It actually works out in the end. Ah, oh, Zardas just doesn't have the pace to get on the ball there, which is a bit disappointing. That was a lovely little bit of work from us to get the ball off of them. Now we just need to try and do it again. Right, Bellingham. Into Brahim Diaz. Brahim Diaz, ball over to Endrick. It's got to be offside, surely. It's got to be offside, surely. That's got to be offside. It is going to get checked. That was a million miles offside to my eye. Yeah, that's what I thought. Goodness me. I mean, watch. It's not a million miles, though, is it? It is offside, but my word, it's not a million miles off, is it? Right, we're getting more chances towards the end of this game. This is a heroic performance, though. If we can we can hold our heads up high on this one. We've done well. We've kept the score down. It's Real Madrid's trophy. Fine. I'm not bothered by that. Main thing is we put in a decent performance. Okay, we didn't get that many highlight-worthy moments, but shot-wise, we rivaled them. We got opportunities in the game. They're a quality team. Their team of superstars only won by one goal, and they didn't keep a clean sheet. Last season, we went to penalties with Girona. This season, we do lose in normal time. But we lose only by the one goal and we put a goal past them. Feels like a weird bit of progress to me, in a way. Feels like a weird bit of progress. Because I think the team last season would have faced the full-strength Real Madrid team and would have got battered. So I think we've made some progress there. Um, I'll say that one. They're delighted. There's obviously a few things as well. I mean, the goalkeeping situation... Would that have helped? I don't know whether it would have done. But, I mean, there's only so much we can do. Um, we are somehow not the biggest overachievers. I don't quite know how. We got to the bloody final as the newly promoted team. But it is what it is. Right. Well, I mean, first things first. Stankovic goes back in goal. And then we look ahead. So, I think from here, we just go to the end of the season and see how we end up. So, the last... Jesus Christ. Just in the last two games of the season. Valencia and Atletico Madrid. That's going to be a tough couple of games to end the season. Um, it could be quite uh, a battering because they're both they're both winning a shout of Champions League spots. We will come back for that because that will determine where we finish. Because again, as it stands, once Atletico Madrid play their games in hand, 
we are in the Champions League spots. But we've got both of them to play. That's going to be really spicy. So we'll do that. I'll play those three games and then we'll come back for those two to round off the season. Don't know why I clapped because I normally click. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed today, do not forget again to leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You'll make me happy. What's not to like about that? I've been Stu. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.